Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Slime Fun with Boomer. Today we are on SkyGrid and we're going to talk about the ancient altar. Something that uh, doesn't have a large number of uses within the game, but it does have some pretty important uses, especially if you like to fly around. That's right. There is a option that to create some uh, staffs within the game. So we're going to start by showing the ancient altar, how to build it, how to craft it, how to set it up, and how to use it today. And an episode after this, we'll talk about uh, going into the elemental staffs. They are very, I'm going to say time-consuming uh, to build, simply because of the materials and the amount of effort you have to put in to make these things. Um, it's not like making reinforced ingots, but they are, like I said, time consuming because you can only make one of these at a time. Unfortunately, you can't just put 64 of each ingredient and fast craft it. You, you have to do these one at a time. Got our coffee. We're on grid. We're good to go. So let's turn around here. And uh, I want to bring up the book. And so this is, uh, let me go back here. Let's get the altar. Uh, recipe up so you guys can see here we go all right so the ancient altar it's a magical gadget and you're going to see what it takes to craft this it takes a crafting table I'm sorry an enchanting table not a crafting table my bad two tier three magical lumps we're going to have to go get a couple of those real fast two eight carat gold ingots and two obsidian and that's going to give us our ancient altar now like I said in the initial videos of slime fun there's some other stuff in here that you're going to want to check out when you see this this is a link to their wiki it's going to take you right to the page it will tell you about the ancient altar so when i get someone says well what is the ancient altar my first question is did you either watch the video or did you click on the wiki link if you haven't done either one then you need to go do that before i'm going to give you any information on how this works the other one is that there is a demonstration video on how to set it up and use it online. So even if after Rick reading a wiki and watching the video, if you don't get it, you didn't pay attention because this really is simple. Like I said, it's just time consuming to go through and craft everything, especially if you need to get a large number of runes. But it's easy if you just watch and pay attention. So I realize I don't have the right uh, ender lumps in me. I don't have the eight karat gold. I'm going to go right back and uh, get those supplies and we'll tear right through this. Be right back. All right, so we're back. We've got some supplies. Let's show you how to make this. So to start with making these runes, the basic one you need to start with is a blank rune. This is what will give you the options to get to the air, earth, fire, and water runes in addition to some of the other ones that are down the road. We'll focus on specifically what those are for in the next episode. Today, I want to simply show you how this works. So you see the setup. You place the ancient altar down, and you're going to lay out these dispensers uh, in the round table shape that you see. So going to the right, it's three blocks over. To the left, three blocks over. Forward and backward, it's three. And then one, a two on a diagonals. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't do anything, that's because you don't have the dispensers in the right spot. As far as the altar itself and using it, we need to start by making the blank runes. So this recipe that you would normally put into a crafting table or bench is a little bit different here. We need to place these items into, I'm sorry, not into, on top of each dispenser, and then we're going to put the obsidian in the middle. So we're going to start with stone in corners, magical lump forward and backwards, left and right, and then the obsidian in the middle. So by holding the stone, right click it, you'll see it says stone. And then we'll just right click it a whole bunch, boomer, and, and stack it up, right? Well, when you right click, it picks it back up. Uh, so you can't, you can't shift click and place it, you get one at a time. This is how this baby works. Okay, so we said stone in the corners. And we said magical lump one, there, 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 and there. And then obsidian right in the middle. Let's see what happens. Purple things go flying. 
And a few seconds later, after another drink of our coffee, you can see those things are being pulled out one by one to where they're all gone. We have our very first blank room. <laughs> blank room by itself is pretty worthless. But it's a crafting recipe within Slime Fun. So let's go back. And if we were to look at the air, hey, we would need a blank one, right? If we were to look at the earth, we need a blank one. Let's do the earth. This one's kind of interesting. Um, I will tell you that the earth ancient runes uh, do come into play. I believe it's for the lava crystals for the smelter's pickaxe. The nice thing about smelter's pickaxe is it works with fortune. Normally you smelt iron and gold ore in a furnace of some kind. And unless you have some type of uh, additional feature in place, you get a one-to-one -one return. On our server, we have up to Fortune 10. So if I were to take a stack of iron ore and use the smelter's pickaxe with Fortune 10, or even Fortune 3 in vanilla will give you a whole lot more. Fortune 10 on a stack of iron ingots, I tend to get about 384 ingots. I'm sorry, on iron ore, I get about 384 ingots. So about 6 to 1 with the smelter's pickaxe. It's really sweet. So let's, now you'll see here though, previously recipe, the earth or the ruin blank one only gave us one. With this recipe, we do get four runes. And so let's put it together. So we had dirt, right? In the opposite corners. Let's just confirm. Yeah, dirt, obsidian, and stone going from left to right. So dirt, obsidian, obsidian, stone, right one two okay and then we have our ender lump ones whoop there's one there's two all right and we finally hit it with the ruin so our magical purple flying stuff goes you start seeing stuff disappear off the top of these dispensers works its way around clockwise and when this is all done we're going to find four magical ruins over here there they are they just got kicked out so now we have four ancient earth runes great what do we do with that so like i said they can continue to go on uh, if i wanted to make a fire rune i can take one and four fire charges blaze powder a couple of magical lumps and a flint and steel to give me fire runes. Uh, so each one kind of plays on top of it a little bit more. Um, there may be one or two other recipes within Slime Fun that would use the ancient altars, but to be honest with you, there's there's very little. Um, almost all of it are the ruins. I'd have to check with everybody to see if they can think of any others. And then the only other... Yeah, the Soulbound Elytras, the Infused Elytras, I, I think they do some runes, yeah. Um, so if you want to make a Elytra, you don't want to go to the end and find one in a chest or uh, you know get one from a legendary key on a server. You do have the ability to craft it. So you'd have to make four air runes. You'd have to get four Elytra scales. Well, how do you get an Elytra scale? What the heck is that, right? Well, it comes from... Uh, Enderlum threes, phantom membranes, air runes, and feathers. To get Enderlum threes, you need four Enderlum twos. To get four Enderlum two, an Enderlum two, you need four Enderlum ones. To get Enderlum one, you need Eye of Ender. So some of the stuff you can get mass amounts relatively quickly, but to make this, you know, the whole process gives you one scale to make the full recipe you need four scales so like i said it's time consuming it's not necessarily expensive except for time so you know on a price to build one of these i'd give it maybe a, a two only because you need you know phantom membranes and anyone to get those is, is uh, phantom eggs and they are very rare on a server but they are obtainable um but it's time consuming. It's probably one of the most time consuming things you can do. However, there are some benefits. And like I said, we'll talk more about that next episode 
when we get into the elemental staffs as well as we might play around with some of these too we'll see depending on where i'm at with supplies and time uh, but that's how the ancient altar works uh, i appreciate you guys watching if you've got any questions comments let me know below if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and like we always say when we're playing slime fun and grid or survival you gotta go boomer or you gotta go home we'll see you later